Chapter 24 Another Big Surprise I... I... Window started to choke, his eyes wide in surprise. Another clatter of footsteps brought Jessica down to the basement. She hoisted the flame for her and pointed at a window. Betty and I backed away to the far wall. Window stood open mouthed, his hand still on the safe. Listen to reason, Window pleaded. Jesse waved the flamethrower. Shall we have a barbecue? Checks Bookworm. Window, medium rare. No, please, Window cried. She tilted the flamethrower up and sent a burst of flames into the air. The roar echoed off the basement walls. I should have known. I hid in safe, the Bookworm said. Hand us the book, the real book this time, and we won't harm you. But, but, Window sputtered. Betty and I huddled against the wall. My legs felt as wobbly as rubber bands. I had to force myself to breathe. Jesse kept waving the flamethrower up and down, ready to fire it again. I'm not a bad person, the bookworm said. I just love to collect books. Book collectors can't be bad people, can they? You know what you're doing is wrong, Window said. You know the evil power of this book. You know, enough talk, the bookworm screamed. Open the safe, now, or you'll be smoke window. I'm not playing games. A sigh escaped Window's lips. Okay, okay, he murmured. He glanced at Betty and me. I could see the sadness in his eyes. His chin twitched with fear. His hand shook as he reached for the dial on the front of the safe. He started to turn the dial. I, I can't do it, he stammered. My hand is trembling too hard. Try harder, the thief growled. Jessie is getting impatient. She loves a good fire. Window grated his teeth and turned the dial. It made soft clicks as it spun into the combination. He sighed again and stopped. He reached for the door handle. He wrapped his fingers around the handle and slowly tugged the door open. Whoa! We all screamed as we stared into the safe and saw that it was completely empty.